I'm Robert, I study Level 3 Fashion Design at the Fashion Retail Academy. My name's Ryan, I'm the Programme Manager for Level 3 um, Fashion Design and also Level 2 Fashion Business and Retail. These are the frequently asked questions about the IFRA and I'll be answering some of them today. So the first question, what makes the Fashion Retail Academy different? I'd say it's the tutors that we have here because of the experience that they have and the knowledge because no matter what, whether it's to do with like your project or whether it's to do with anything else like outside of school or whatever, you just can get advice there and they have the knowledge and they have the experience behind them to tell you. So it's perfect. I think it's absolutely brilliant and there's such a variety of courses and the way that the college is laid out is like a university but mixed with a college and the lifestyle is amazing here. So that's what I think really sets the Fashion Retail Academy apart. This academy, in my opinion, is uh, unique because it offers lots of opportunity for students of all ages to come in, work alongside like-minded individuals, whether that's fashion business or whether that's fashion design, that's all we have. So no other subjects like geography or French, science, any of that, it's purely fashion and purely creative people, so it's a unique opportunity. Um, also what makes it different, again, is our contacts with industry. So not just the curriculum, but all the external projects we do. Um, we work really closely with industry to kind of identify um, the kind of skills that our students would need to go on to either university or actually get a job. Second question. Whoops. What are the differences between the courses at the Fashion Retail Academy? Okay, so as I mentioned, um, we have uh, level three courses, level two courses, level four, and then uh, two year fast track degrees. I chose fashion design because when I was younger, I always wanted to study fashion and love fashion. And my dad was very like clothes orientated. So I've always been around clothing and fashion. So I thought from young, I've been designing. So when it comes to after GCSEs and going on what to do, once I learned about the Fashion Retail Academy, it was like a no brainer. So I come here and I've not look back, it's brilliant. The level three, uh, in which we do fashion uh, design um, or fashion business and retail. Um, they're quite different, those courses actually. So the fashion design courses are very much hands-on, pattern cutting, um, garment manipulation, really kind of taking the students from that conceptual research-based start all the way through to kind of um, the, end, the end garment. Um, but absolutely still with kind of a, a commercial kind of direction along the way. Uh, fashion business and retail, um, again they look at visual merchandising, um, analytics based in there as well, um, but also looking at kind of how the students can kind of, as I said, get jobs at the end of it and what, is, what does that look like. Um, on to level four, so level four we have garment tech, uh, visual merchandising, hugely popular courses and that gives uh, students um, of all ages opportunity to kind of really focus down on where they want to go on to. And then also we have our two year fast track degrees in a range of subjects um, to take our students onto whatever level they want to, whatever career they want to go on to. Third question, what can you do after the Fashion Retail Academy? Well, the Fashion Retail Academy has an amazing amount of like career services and everything. So if you ever stuck and you don't know what to do, you can go and talk to the career services and they have a vast amount of knowledge on anything to do with the industry. Depending on where you, um, you leave. So a level three courses, for instance, as I said, from both fashion business and retail and design, we embed key skills in there to really give our students an opportunity to get entry level jobs, um, whether that is in design or business and retail. So that could be merchandising or buying, um, whatever they'd want to do. Um, if you go into level four, you could just do that one year and that could propel you into kind of an entry level role in the industry as well. Equally of our degrees, they, they offer those same things. But as I said earlier, all of our courses are really giving the key skills that industry are looking for. Huge part of what we do at the FRA, kind of understanding the key skills that industry want and need and uh, inputting that into the curriculum. If you look on the Fashion Retail's Instagram, like two days ago they posted something about um, alumni and in the alumni there was the Drapers 30 under 30 and there's five students that have been here that are alumni that have been in the Drapers 30 under 30, so there is a great progression place to go. Question number five. What's a typical day like at the Fashion Retail Academy? 
there are a lot of different masterclasses and even in the courses it can help you out so when it comes to presenting like you can do group projects and we do industry projects so usually after we finish our project we have one or two weeks and we'll do something related to that so you get to go up as a class and it helps you with your confidence so you can go up and talk to people and you get to present to your class so it kind of warms you up for if you do go into the industry and you have to present a project it's not as big of a deal because you've already had the practice there but then there's other things as well so you can there's like Jimmy Chu come in and people got to go in and talk to Jimmy Chu and learn from him and he's a big hitter in the industry so it's amazing that so it's not like nothing small you can actually go and talk to some of the biggest people out there and get advice from them as well so the amount of opportunities and the doors that get opened here is insane well um, we kind of mirror industry really closely here so first of all our expectation is they're here for nine and finish at five and when we say be here at nine um, that's ready to roll at nine we have the expression if you're early you're on time if you're on time you're late uh, to kind of get them really understand that if you're in a job environment industry environment you need to be at your desk ready to go at nine o'clock uh, not come cruising in with your latte and your croissant at ten past nine um, we have all kinds of things going on we only have our students for two days a week so it's critical they're kind of here ready to roll um, we have industry talks we have mentor sessions um, as well as the kind of the key learning that their teachers uh, we call them GLs here so group leads their group leads will be teaching them throughout those two days and depending on the course that you're on that teaching obviously um, varies so fashion business and retail you could come in um, and you're doing things about range plans you're doing things about margins uh, buying you're looking at lookbooks photo shoots lots and lots of very varied information whereas design um, you can have a technical session with our fantastic uh, technicians we have in-house to support the students and um, that could teach them how to make a shirt how to make shirt collars or if they're doing the tailoring project which we do on year two how to make a, a proper tailored jacket um, as well as kind of industry people coming in uh, we have mentors here as well you may have a mentoring session with one of the um, uh, industry kind of contacts and those uh, mentoring sessions are fantastic in supporting our students from about sort of November through the UCAS period right right the way through to their um, final major projects and what that does it again it really gives the students an idea of um, what industry looks like and uh, industry really give them ideas about how their project is going or how they can change their portfolio make it industry ready so a really unique contact point for the students last question what is something nobody knows about the Fashion Retail Academy? So we were founded around 15 years ago, um, precisely for the need that I've been discussing throughout this, about kind of giving our students the key skills that industry need. Um, industry um, and certain brands were noticing that students were coming out of university with these degrees, um, but not necessarily having the key skills to actually do the job. Um, so our um, kind of USP as such is to really kind of identify those key um, skills and gaps if you like in, in, in student knowledge and plug that hole and really give uh, our students every chance uh, to um, get those those jobs. No one knows that how good it actually is our thoughts and considerations actually get taken in so there's a lot of things and the students are actually considered and what is our best interests are definitely taken into account here so I think it's amazing the way that our college actually listens to us and takes in and cares about the students which I think is absolutely amazing and not enough people know about that. Okay these are the most frequently asked questions about the FRA. Thank you for watching.